Now, after working on the test object map, we have seen how to create, how to share, how to associate. Now we'll just try to modify the test object map. So modification can be into different terms. What we'll be seeing is, we'll see how to add the objects into your test object map. We'll see how to delete the objects, how to modify objects. Modify in the sense you can modify the properties and values. You can also increase and decrease the weightage. Later on, you can update the objects. If you already have the objects, the developer has given you a new build with modify objects. You can update the objects into your test object map. And finally, we'll see this, how to associate that test object map with some particular script. Okay. So let us see practically how we work on this modified test object map. Welcome back. So let us see how do we modify a particular test object map. So how I can open the test object map, first of all. So if you see on the right hand side, uh, first of all, if you see, I'm, I have opened one script named as K underscore shared test object map. Double click and open that. When I open it, on the right hand side, I have this script explorer where you can see there are different things. I have the data pool, verification point and test objects. So these are different test objects. Method one is I can right click on this test object folder and click on this open button like this and the test object map will open. I'll click on close. Second method is I can double click on any of the object which is present under this folder. Let's say if I double click on this place order button and same way the test object map will open with place order button as selected. Okay, so the first thing is how do I open it? This is the method. Second is if I want to modify the test object map or the properties, how do I do that? Suppose I've selected this place order button, okay, in this place, and these are the properties and the values which are given at the bottom. If I just want to modify, what I can do is I can just double click on the value button instead of place order button two, I can write as place order button three or four or five, anything. So this is the method I can just modify the properties. I'm not just changing here right now anything, but I'm showing you how to modify that. So anything if you want in the value column, you can modify the values of that, you know, object, the property values of this object. Second thing is if you want to delete the object, let's say if you don't want that object, you can simply select right click and you have the option as delete. Along with delete object, you have many options like cut, copy, paste. You can have a look on that. They are also easy. So I can, if I want, I can just delete the object also. Next is now if I want to add some object. So to add some object, first of all, the object should be visible. So what I can do is I'll first open the window by going into this application run button, select the classics Java B application, click on OK. Right. So now the application is open. What I'll do is I will add some object from this particular application into my test object map. So which object I want to add? I want to add this remember the password object here. How do I add it? I can go to this test object menu bar, select the option as insert objects. I'll get a dialog box asking me where is your object? So I'll get an object finder button here. Click on that button do not leave your mouse and just move your mouse over there. Once you move your mouse, wait for a few seconds. Okay, like this. Wait for a few seconds till this particular object is highlighted by red color. Once the it is highlighted, then leave your mouse. Okay, then you can leave your mouse and then you can see the options will come. Once again, it is a bit tedious into RFT for selecting an object. I have just clicked on back button click on this button, do not leave your mouse and then keep your cursor on that particular object till it is highlighted. Once it is highlighted, then leave your mouse button. You'll get few options, just the selected object, include siblings, include all available objects. Right now, I just want to select only the selected object. So click on finish button. So once you finish, you see the object has been added into your test object map. When you select that, these are the different properties what have been fetched from that particular object. If you see the name is given as remember the password and the, or you can say the text is remember the password and the name is given as remember password. So these are very easy methods of just deleting, adding, modifying any properties of that particular object, right? So I'll just simply click on this close button. 
okay and i'll just click on i don't want to save any changes click on no button and close the application right so i hope you have understood how to modify any test object map into any particular script that's all for this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning